Hey guys, Shahan here with Brawl Brothers. And before we get into this video, I wanted to take the time out to thank you guys. Thank you everybody who subscribed to the channel. Thank you to everybody who constantly watches my videos and engages with me in the comment section, whether it's feedback about the channel, whether it's some ideas or just stories that you guys share about your training methods. I always appreciate the interaction and letting me know that you guys are finding value from these videos, which I greatly appreciate and it makes all this worthwhile. Also, special thank you to everybody who went out and bought the book. If you guys haven't had a chance to check it out yet, definitely go check it out. I do think you will find the value from it. And those of you who have bought it, I do want to know what do you guys think of it so far. If you had a chance to get through a couple pages, let me know what you guys think about the book. And a special shout out to Terrell. Terrell, if you're watching, I do appreciate that positive review that you left on Amazon. And those of you who have bought the book, if you haven't left the review yet, after you go check out the book, after you get a chance to read it, definitely go leave me a review. Let me know what you guys thought about the book and hopefully it's a positive one. Other than that, let's get into this video. In this video, I'm going to talk about why really great boxers like Manny Pacquiao, Mayweather, Canelo, why these guys make fundamental boxing mistakes and why you should avoid copying them at all costs. Now we've all seen it. We've all seen some of the best fighters in the fight make some mistakes. We've also seen them constantly make mistakes in training, right? If you look at this footage of Canelo, for example, you see him hitting the bag, but he's not pivoting on his left hook, right? He's not pivoting on his punches at all. A lot of people actually make fun of Floyd Mayweather for his heavy bag routine, right? Because it doesn't seem like a fundamental thing to do. And if somebody watches Manny Pacquiao on the heavy bag, they will say, He's throwing arm punches, right? Those guys that train for like two to six months, learn the basics and think that's what boxing is all about. They go as far as not to only criticize guys like me, but they also go and criticize guys like Manny Pacquiao, Canelo and Mayweather as if they know better, right? They criticize boxing greats as if they are better than them having boxed for two months. But it's not only in training that this happens, right? We see it in fights all the time. If you look at this clip of Manny Pacquiao pairing a Mayweather jab and setting him up for a beautiful counter left shot, you'll see that he's not really following boxing fundamentals, right? If you watch this clip, he's using both his arms, right? He's leaving his face open. A lot of things that you're not technically supposed to do in a boxing match and if you look at somebody like roy jones jr he makes just about every fundamental mistake in the boxing blueprint right he is an anomaly now what happens to a lot of beginner fighters is they watch these guys and they go well he's not doing it right and then you have the other crowd which criticize these guys or guys who are more seasoned for doing it and think they have to do everything by textbook and there is a fine line between following the basics and elevating your game and doing what's necessary in the fight. So let's talk about first why these guys make these mistakes. And I say mistakes very loosely because these aren't actual mistakes. So if you look at Canelo, for example, when he's hitting the bag, the reason he's not pivoting, and you may even see some of the videos that I've shot here, the reason I don't pivot on every shot and the reason that guys like that don't pivot on every shot is because after you get seasoned enough, you know when and when not to do that and you also know how to put power behind your shots without having to do that you know how to get your hip into the shot you know how to snap your shoulder you know how to roll your punches over right you learn all these things so that you don't have to necessarily dig into the ground in the rotating motion right you can dig into the ground without rotating your foot and still get all that leverage on that shot right so some fundamental mistakes aren't actually mistakes but if you're just starting boxing you don't want to do that when i first started boxing what i used to do is i used to imitate roy jones all the time he was my favorite fighter by far and i used to imitate everything he did and my coach told me once he said listen this was very important wisdom that he imparted on me that i now pass on to my students i always tell my students don't do as i do do as i say and this is what my coach told me he told me for the first year or two or three follow the basics and master the fundamentals and keep doing that keep focusing on mastering the fundamentals mastering the basics and eventually once you master them once you start getting confidence in your own fight ability your personality will shine through your style will develop through your personality it will show in your boxing style all the boxers that you see all of them fight different because they all have different personalities 
Some guys are more slick. They like to take the defensive approach. Some guys are more aggressive, right? And sometimes you don't know what style you have until you're in a high pressure situation, like a competition, like a real fight, right? Rather than not just a sparring session in the gym, but a real fight. I was surprised to learn in my first amateur fight that I was an aggressive fighter and it wasn't just adrenaline. I just wanted to finish the guy. I didn't want to just win by points. I wanted to get in there and I wanted to take his head off. And whereas in sparring, I was more relaxed and uncomfortable counter punching. Here, I was coming forward, forcing him to throw and counter punching that way. I went from more of a Floyd Mayweather type fighter to more of a Ricky Hatton type fighter, right? Just very high pressure, focused on working the body and just coming in trying to take the guy's head off, right? I was much more aggressive. And that is very much my personality, right? So I saw my my personality shine through my boxing style, but that's because at that point, I was already confident in, in all of my fundamentals. I was confident in all of my basics, and that's what you wanna do. If you're just starting out, don't worry about what your favorite fighters are doing. Master the basics, it is so important that you learn how to pivot and you do the full foot rotation, right? It's important that you roll your shoulder over. It's important that you throw each punch perfect. It's important that you keep your face, your gloves glued to your face, right? And your chin down. And it's important that you follow all of these basics because before you learn to break the rules, you have to know what the rules are, right? You have to know where your limits are. You have to know why you do all of these things before you stop doing them. You can't just break the rules because your favorite fighter is breaking the rules. The only time you can do that is when you achieve a level of mastery and you start doing what it takes to win a fight rather than what's perfect, right? We talked about the Canelo and Billy Joe Saunders fight. If Canelo was worried about throwing the perfect form, he might have never finished that fight the way he did, right? If you look at still shot of of the end of that fight or that fight ending punch then you'll see that a boxing coach would tear an amateur into pieces for doing something like that in the fight right or doing something like that in training rather and he wouldn't let him do something like that right but in the fight you got to take the opportunities to present themselves but again only once you achieved a certain level of mastery and there's a flip side to that coin there you see guys to or learn a little bit of the basics, stop boxing, and then criticize everybody else for not following the fundamentals when they don't realize that once you achieve a certain level of mastery, you will make mistakes. But the tough thing to do is to discern between being too green and making those mistakes and actually being a master at your craft, right? Floyd Mayweather is one of the best boxers to ever live, one of the most technical fighters, but he doesn't follow a lot of the textbook rules, right? He does a, a, a pull very often, which is uh, most of the time frowned upon, right? And, and the way he keeps his hands low and everything that he does are very, very tough to do and very tough to pull off in the ring for everybody. You gotta have really supernatural reflexes. You gotta have really supernatural speed, right? The way he comes in with a lead hook, the way he comes in with a lead right with his chin up in the air, right? These are things that a boxing coach will kill you for, right? Some boxing coaches would even refuse to train you if you come in and did the shit in your first six months, right? But you have to follow the basics at first, right? Know what you're doing. Don't just copy your fighters, but don't be that guy that thinks that the basics are the only way to fight. They are not the only way to fight. The way you want to fight is fight to win, right? If you're able to land the shot that's not the most pretty shot, but it'll get your opponent out of there, then land that shot, right? You want to fight to win. But the real key message in this video here is if you are a beginner, focus on mastering your fundamentals, focusing on mastering your basics, and don't worry about what your style is. Your style will come out. Just perfect the sweet science and your personality will eventually shine, your confidence will eventually shine, and your style will develop itself. As always, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know you guys' thoughts in the comment section below, what you guys think about some of these fundamentalists that leave these comments online, and let me know what you guys think about these professionals making these so-called mistakes. If you like the video, like that video, and hit all those other YouTube buttons to help this channel blow. I'm Shahan. I'll brought you guys next time.